Hi guys, so today we're gonna be diagnosing this one. So it just it just came now. Um, basically, the customer said that he replaced the PSU, and that uh, for some reason the computer doesn't turn on or doesn't come on or something like that. So we're gonna have a look. So all I'm gonna start by doing is opening this side, and then we're gonna connect it and see what is the problem. And I'm expecting this is going to be a tricky one and it's going to be a long video, but I guess we will see. So let's get the screws here, open this side and get it out of the way. And let's connect this. Let's have a quick look and see what we have here. We have a GTX card, I can't really tell which one. Uh, 970 apparently. Corsair 550, we've got an SSD and a hard drive. It's two slots of memory. This is well connected, this is well connected. This as well. Da, 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 da. Okay, so let's put this on. Okay, I would be expecting some sort of light from the motherboard. But there's no light whatsoever anywhere, which is not great. Let's try to power it on. Right, so it flashed here, but nothing. Nothing at all. Damn, it's not even powering on or anything. No light whatsoever. So, considering there's no light, so let's put this down. <coughs> I'm gonna start by checking this button and see if the button is actually connected. So I'm guessing it's gonna be one of these. This is USB. Let's see on this corner. Seems to be all well connected, really. So I'm gonna try to start. Can't really see the distance here. Let's take a go. Da -da 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 -da. Easy light, P light, power. Okay, so the power is here. I'm gonna try to disconnect it. Nothing at all. Okay, so I'm gonna connect this again. You already know it's not from the button. I'm gonna need some light because this computer is all black inside. Can't really see much. Okay. Okay, connected. Yeah, that's connected. And still nothing. So we're gonna start by trying the PSU. So I'm gonna just connect this graphics card just in case the graphics card is pulling too much power and then that's the actual problem no no thought so okay so all I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a powerful a powerful PSU and we're gonna try to connect the PSU directly and see if that works um, Yes, 750 should be enough. The one that is here is 550. So, let's have a quick look. So, 
So we really only want these two. That's more than enough. So I'm gonna disconnect this one and connect this one. Okay. And now the other one. Okay, so we're gonna take the power from here, and the power is now going through here. And let's have a look to see if at least it turns on or anything. Okay, that's an interesting one. So, in case you missed that, so it clicked, the, the fan kind of started moving and stopped, and at the same time it clicked. It seems to me that it's being shorted for what I believe is the motherboard. Okay. Hmm. Well, there's not much we can do really to test this out. So the only thing that we can do from here is let's disconnect this. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is take out the graphics card completely basically take out as many things as I can and just try it like that uh, what I'm suspecting the problem is is the actual motherboard that has been fried or something happened with this board and it's probably shorting every time you turn it on um, so yeah Of course it's not going to come out if the cable is there, is it? Of course not. Okay. Let's just give it a quick try. Oh, and that started. Okay, let's see if this has graphics on board. It might have. Uh, if the processor is compatible, or if the processor has graphics on board, the motherboard definitely has, so it should give us something. Not the graphics cards, it did. Let's have a look. Yeah, screen is coming on. I'll take this out for now. Let's have a look. So this is a GTX 970, which is 4 gigabytes DDR5. Okay, let's see what we have here in the BIOS. So we have 16 gigabytes of RAM DDR4. Da, 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 da. Okay, CPU fans, temperature, CPU is at 48 and going down. Motherboard is stable at 25. Processor is a nice 7 6 generation 6700K. It's currently at 4 GHz, so it has been overclocked. Okay, hmm. Interesting one, interesting one. So, it's either the, gra the graphics card that is dead or is bringing. Well, it can't be too much power, otherwise it would have worked with this one. Um, it might have shorted that slot, so I'm going to try it in the other slot as well. And I'm going to try it with an extra graphics card to see if it still works with a different graphics card. So, let's turn this off. And off. And... Da -da 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 -da. What should we try first? I'm going to try the other graphics card first. 
So let's see what we have here. This one, GT7710. Simple, basic, but does the job. So let's try Take these ones. Okay. So let's try to see if this goes in like this. It's turning on, so it seems that this graphics card is fine, it's just the other one. And we're gonna start preparing this one so we can try the old graphics card, the customer graphics card, in the next slot. Put where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, HDMI because it wasn't even turning on. Like, I'm gonna try like this without even putting power to this graphics card. It, it's not gonna give screen, I just want to see if it actually powers on now. It doesn't, okay. So, I'm just gonna put the power. <laughs> don't even know why, but I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> So I need the power from that one. Which one is it? Oh, the cable's not marked. No, that's weird. One. Why is there two on this end? Hmm. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Now we are actually connected. Let's have a look. No, still the same. It's definitely a dead graphics card. So let's disconnect all of this. Start putting things away. So let's put, let's put this away. Like this. Disconnect this one. And this one. Yeah. 
back now. And we need to get a few skirt. We can put it away as well. station <clears throat> okay close this one this graphics card I'm not gonna connect it for now actually um, we'll see I'm gonna contact the customer now and see if he wants to replace the graphics card and what the graphics card does he actually want. In the meantime, I'm gonna actually take this graphics card out because it's not doing anything here, really. Let's go connect it here, like this. I'm gonna turn it on, just make sure that the computer is actually booting up. Is back. to be putting up so, yeah, so when we're basically diagnosing um, sometimes there's signs that kind of indicate what it can be or what it might be uh, but nothing is ever um, and if you work in this industry you know this nothing is ever what it seems sometimes it might seem that it's just a faulty memory and you end up having a processor with fault or things like this i like to say that the computers are like people they have their own personalities um, because of certain situations that happened to me in the past or with computers i i know not to judge just like people don't judge a book by its cover don't judge a fault by what you think it is you actually have to investigate and go almost one by one and see what is and what isn't and uh, yeah in this case we actually got there quite quickly sometimes it takes longer um, I was actually expecting for this not to really work and I thought it would be a faulty motherboard or a faulty processor um, but ended up being a graphics card which I've never actually seen a faulty graphics card doing this like making the computer not even turning on um, normally the computer turns on it just doesn't give any image or things like that so yeah as always please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and yeah I'll keep posting more content like this